Welcome to another commentary done by Diggity. This is going to be the final replay I have, hope I believe, from Hasu League Season 12, Season 12, Season 13 of VSL Group B. Hopefully I got the group right as well. So uh, my, the reason my brain's a little bit confuzzled here is Gozifer, so I don't have the in-between replay, which I think is the winner's match, which I believe was played between uh, Gozifer and Jedi 1. Jedi 1... Uh, looks like lost that match, so we're seeing him here in the, the final match. There was a walkover from Zakram, and so we're seeing Light Swarm going up against Jedi 1, and I should have checked the map. I'm so flustered on this one. Flustered! This is going to be on Good Night. So more of a macro-oriented game on Good Night, and Light Swarm confirming that it is, in fact, the best of one. Pylon being kind of an odd position for that pylon. Is that correct? I feel like the pylon... We'll see. Uh, Jedi when putting a pilot at the natural expansion setting up looks like he is going to get first scout Light Swarm looks like he is setting up for some sort of overlord first build possibly overpool looks like it is going to be an overpool build kind of the standardest thing you can do as zerg these days or the safest I feel like it's the thing that allows you to get those zerglings out have a less disrupted natural expansion things like that probe scout's going to have some opportunity ooh taking some hits battle drone Trying to steal some minerals. That drone was like, that is my mineral, my mineral patch. Thank you very much. Get the hell out of here. Smacking him right in the face. Bit of a shock in the butt. Uh, it's kind of a counter. Additional shocks in the butt. This probe better watch out. His uh, Zergling brother is going to come up uh, engage with this. But a good amount of additional harassment here from Jedi 1. Drone moving down to the natural expansion to go ahead and grab that. Looks like... Jedi, happy to do this a bit of annoyance to deny that. Spawning pool is, in fact, up. Let's see how many Zorglings are produced out of this. So definitely, it looks like an initial two. Jedi 1, in fact, spawning. And seeing that additional... It looks like a... Okay, we are seeing two groups. He wants to hold and see how many Zorglings are placed. So first Photon Cannon. Actually dropping two Photon Cannons. But that third egg is, in fact, a drone. So a little bit of a overreaction. Not an overreaction. Playing it a little bit safe. The Zerglings starting to move out, do their dance. And Light Swarm. Did he even get a scout out? I don't know that he scouted anything as of yet. Did the drone die in the main? I might have missed a drone getting killed. I was paying so much attention to the probe doing its fun dance and poking this drone, uh, poking the edge drone in the butt that I missed whether there. Yeah, I don't think there was a scout. Nine o'clock base being grabbed for a three hatch opener. This Zergling is going to find a cannon to the face. Lose about half its health immediately. Gateway warping in. There's still a little bit of a gap here. So it looks like that cannon was canceled behind this. That's actually a good play by Jedi. So place the cannon, and then when that Zergling... When you see that the Zerglings didn't spawn out of that additional egg, go from there. These Zerglings trying to take care of this probe, and the probe doing a pretty good job of staying alive and dancing between this. Natural expansion is up. So definitely some form of three-hatch opener. If Light Swarm wanted to go for the Hydra Busk on this map, there's a much wider choke to make that work. So that's a much bigger threat. Jedi 1 losing that probe now. It looks like Lair is, in fact, morphing. So it looks like we're probably going to see uh, three-hatch mutilus, and it's... Oh, canceling it! So perhaps showing it to the probes, canceling it, and instead opting for the Hydra then now. We have... Eight drones here, three drones at the natural expansion. We'll see how many saturate there from here. The Zergling's moving up. The Overlord going to go ahead and check. So Jedi 1 is going to need to scout this out. A second probe being sent out. This is huge. If that second probe can get into the main, that will be devastating for Light Swarm. So there's the Hydra Sten and Hydra Speed being upgraded. And this was a huge mistake. Is he going to be able to block the ramp? Drone moving position to create a blockade is not able to blockade that probe. And I'm not saying this is match, but this is a huge advantage for Jedi 1. Seeing, first of all, that there's not a lair. Getting a count and seeing that there's, in fact, nine drones. And seeing that idol is done. So all indications to 973. And honestly, if I was Light Swarm at this stage of the match, I would drop the 973 pressure and maybe just go ahead and plop down some additional hatcheries. And play from there. So fortunately, so that probe 
getting wiped out. Two Zealots running forward to go ahead and put some additional pressure on. Might even get a drone kill in the midst of this. Yeah, at least going to get a drone kill. Those Zerglings just walking right by those Zealots. So everything going right for Jedi 1 thus far. Hydralis joining the fray with the Zerglings. And they're going to go ahead and try to march their way back into the main. One of them is going to get, well, maybe not. So two Zealots actually able to get in the main as well. And so doing a bit of economic disruption, trying to work on some of those drones with the gas. Is he going to get additional kill? I don't think so. Able to get some additional damage, but not an additional kill. Still building a Stargate with a Corsair. I don't feel like that's necessary. Going to Robotics Support Bay to follow this up. Interesting play from Jedi 1. So he's got a Robo at the natural. This is actually a build I kind of wanted to see as an attempted uh, counter play. 2973, but here I'm worried that it's going to cost Jedi 1 the game because, and he had all the scouting information he needed. Because now I don't think he has enough cannons on the front to repel the amount of Hydralisks that are starting to press in. An Overlord is down, though. Which is going to put Light Swarm in the red. He's pressing forward. This might be an indication that that Forge isn't, in fact, spinning. The Northern Cannon being pecked away at. That second cannon working. Probe's pulling off the line. Two cannons down. And these cannons, I think, are coming too late. So Light Swarm able to get additional probes. The Reaver... About four fists finished. It is not in time. Maybe if like if Jedi One can buy himself some time. Is the Reaver even gonna get out in time? I don't think so. There's the Reaver. It's trying to desperately build a scarab. Is it even gonna get a shot? Doesn't even get a shot off. And Jedi One saw it. Oh unfortunately. Yeah, trying to go for that Reaver in between. Didn't build enough cannons. I think trying to get fancy with it. And so Light Swarm is going to advance. Jedi 1 being eliminated. That was not the... Uh, I got to say that was not what I was expecting after everything else uh, in this match. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed it. Appreciate, uh, again, thanks to uh, Zachram for getting me the replay in between so I could puzzle all of this out. Thank you guys for listening.